Okay, everyone, Alexi Ballion back, and this time I'm just going to navigate around my space, okay? Right now, I just have a background scene and a ground down here. Okay, for me to feel comfortable in any application, I need to just move around and find out how that works. And what's interesting um, in this application, if you go to File, New Scene, and open it up for the first time, you'll find that it has presets within Twinmotion, for example, ArchiCAD, Revit, um, sketch up and so on right now i'm just leaving everything as twin motion and uh, not to confuse anybody with different applications we'll keep it simple and what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold shift down with one hand and the other hand on my three uh, button mouse hold the scroll button down and i'm going to move my mouse basically what it's doing is orbiting okay we're orbiting around okay so that's kind of nice you can orbit around see the view and so on okay normally this will make a lot more sense if i had an object here. So what I'm going to do, just for the sake of this uh, demonstration, I'm just going to come down here and I'm just going to go to Materials and Furniture, 3D Primitives, and I'm just going to bring a 10 meter box here. Okay, there's the object. So it's selected. So I'm going to hold Shift and Orbit, um, hold down my middle scroll and orbit around, as I said. Okay, is that nice? Very nice. Okay, now if I let go of Shift and only hold the middle scroll button down, this time, I'm just panning left, right, up, and down. So that gets me going. I'm good to go here. So again, I'm holding Shift, and I'm holding my middle scroll button. I'm orbiting around the object that I created. Nice. OK, so that's good. And I can zoom in and zoom out using the middle scroll button, as well as the forward and uh, back arrows right and left. And all our students who are gamers over here, as you know, ASDE. Okay, so you can go left, A, D is right, S is away, and E is up, W is going forward, and Q is down. So basically Q and E is up and down. Okay, W, zoom in, S, go back, W, go forward, and then D, go to the right, and then A, to. okay, you get it. All right, same as for the arrows. So to me, this is kind of simple and good to go right now. We have more than enough buttons that we're working here. What's really good is that once I select something here, as you can see right here, I have um, an axis. For example, right now, the icon is a four-directional arrow, which means translate, it's new. So basically, I can hover in two, basically, axes right now. It's X and Y and Z is pointing up. There it is. For this application, Z is up. Okay, and if I just hover down here, I can rotate. So if I wanted to rotate this object, so I can hover on the edges and watch this, and I just go and I just spin around, left click, you're good to go. And you can always type in something and so on, and that will help you out. Okay, so I can orbit this way, and again, I'm going to be super lost here with this because I would normally <laughs> use this one too much. But for orbiting, you can see that I am rotating accordingly. Okay. I'll just bring it back here, boom. I'm just gonna delete it and just bring another one in right now. There it is, I'm just dragging it over. So as you can see right now, there's move, rotate, and scale, which is one of my favorites. And I'm scaling from the middle, and that means on all three axes at the same time. And then look at this, one axis at a time, and the cube becomes a wall. Isn't that nice? Okay, really, really powerful. I love this application for the simplicity of use. It doesn't take much to pick up some ideas of what to do within the application. So right now I'm just holding the middle scroll button because I am just basically panning around. And again, there you go. You've got this little button down, so a little arrow, just like in Photoshop. Move. And if I go next again, rotate, you can rotate the object. And what I've done is I've uh, set the settings where it's at 15 degree increments, okay? So I know pretty much where I'm going that way and here it is that's in the preferences there will be another uh, demonstration for that and scale so a quick way to do this is the number four is move five is rotate and six is scale how simple is that lovely okay so i'm just going to spin around here holding shift and middle orbit i'm just going to bring a couple more things here's a chamber um, a chamfered box and if i have my scale tool on i can scale it up okay so you see here there's a number right there I say five, I type in five, enter. So I scaled it five on the X, Y, Z axis at one time. Okay, there's that. All right, I think this is good to spin around the space, which is really orbit. Okay, hold 
Alt Shift down and pan right, left, up and down. For me, if I'm holding Shift and middle scroll button down, I am orbiting around an object, which is a lot of fun for me. And if you want to go into the game mode where Q and E, that's nice, right? W, S, and A, and D. Okay, four, move, five is rotate, six is scale. Lots and lots of fun. All right, I hope this was a good start on this um, for navigating within the space. I think that works for me. And one last thing I'm going to add here, which is actually something I use in Maya myself. If I press F after selecting an object, it brings it into your view. Isn't that nice? So if I had numerous objects here, if I press F again, boom, you're zoomed in around that object. Okay, middle scroll out and middle scroll in. It's the same idea as moving forward in the arrows, forward, backwards, left and right. See, I'm left-handed, so you have my hand on my mouse, and then I'm just using my arrows to move forward and back. Okay, all right, good stuff. Um, that's it for now. Enjoy this one. Alexi, out. Bye-bye.